So today I'm here at the Santos Trailhead in Ocala, Florida. We're gonna do something different. We're gonna ride green trails. <laughs> no kidding, we're gonna ride green trails. My last video was all black diamonds and as I start to look back at all of our videos, there are all these hard trails. And I ran into some people who saying, Ken, can you please show us where to ride in Florida that we're not gonna die? It makes sense. All these people are sending it, doing gap jumps, hucking off ledges, rocks, and there's people at home wanting to know where to ride, where they don't have to do that, but they still wanna get out on a single track trail and ride their mountain bike. They wanna get off the pavement, they wanna stop riding around the lake and the park. In my opinion, the Santos Trailhead has got some of the best trails to learn how to ride your mountain bike. You can ride any bike you want back here. You do not need to have a $5,000 mountain bike to come back here and have a good time. My goal today is for one of you, one person who watches this video to get hooked on mountain biking and say, Ken, thanks so much. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have fun. As you enter the Santos Trail, go under the big wooden sign. I'm gonna take you on Pine Tree East. You don't need a full suspension bike. You just need a bike with air in the tires, a water bottle, and a helmet. But the cool thing about this place is I would call this real mountain biking single track. It's not mountain biking on a gravel road. There's gonna be some tiny little roots, nothing major. Do not be intimidated. Now there are some roots on this trail, okay? Do not go cow bone. Stay to the right here, Pine Tree East. But nothing big and nothing, most of these you can go around. You will find some sand in some spots, again, Nothing that should scare you and nothing that should hold you back. The woods in this area are incredible. We came to another split. You can go to the left to Pine Tree East, or you can go to the right to Shorty. We're gonna stay on Pine Tree East. This is so beautiful. You've gotta get a bike and get out here. This is definitely one of the easier trails in Florida that will give you the feeling like you're out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, if you don't get hooked on mountain biking from riding this trail, I'm not sure what will. Don't worry about getting lost out here. It's very well signed. It's near impossible to get lost. If you just keep following the trails, any trail that you're on, Eventually you'll see a sign with a TH on it for trailhead. And you can just follow it back to the trailhead. We are still on Pine Tree. Actually, the roughest part of Pine Tree was the very beginning, the first quarter mile. And it, don't get me wrong, it wasn't that rough. It gets really, really smooth. I mean, look at this trail right now, it's smooth. If for some reason you're on Pine Tree, east or any trail here and you don't see a sign for a while stay on the trail keep pedaling eventually you'll see one don't second guess yourself and just pedal out of it the reason i say that is because i just rode a, a fair amount on that towards the end of pine tree east with no sign i kind of know where i'm going so i knew it was going to come out to this point um, but just ride it out and you'll eventually end up at other trails. All right, so we just came out of Pine Tree East. Check it out. This was the one we just took from the trailhead. You can turn around 
and go straight back to the trailhead if you want. It was two miles, that'd be four miles out and back. But what I recommend to do, this is your very first time out here and you just want to get your feet wet, you're going to take a right, right here. And basically go back to the trailhead on Pine Tree West. Perfect trailhead and you keep going straight. If you've been riding your mountain bike on pavement around the park, down the sidewalks, and you're just itching to get out and get on the trail, this is a great place to do it. Very user friendly. It's very well signed. The trails are very smooth. I remember the first time I got hooked on mountain bike riding. There's nothing better than getting on your bike, paddle, pedaling out on a single track trail, seemingly miles away from where you left your car or where you rode in from, and just being in the woods by yourself. That is what really gets you connected to the sport.